We're in. Okay. We are in the finals. Okay, so. Let's take a look. We got Rudix. We got so much wood. We got Tristy. We got Darky. Um, I'm going to do a Gamba. So if you all want to do Gamba, who will win it all? Rudix. So much wood. Trissy. And Yeet. You have... I'll give you five minutes. Sure. I'm going to be generous. I'm going to give you five minutes. Okay, so let's, uh, so let's take a look at this. Um, so what, Yeet went first, went 5, 6, 10. I think that's understandable, given that there was a lot of ore on this board. There was basically no shot, it was all going to be gone. And wood is surprisingly rare as well, so getting a, a, a chance to have unblockable wood is massive. Uh, the 10 sheep doesn't hurt, it's fine, it's kind of whatever. Uh, from there, Rudix goes 8, 10, 3, which I guess is to guarantee best wheat and brick, or and get a little brick, which I can understand. And now, okay, we got Rudix going over cheap. Wow, um, I'm not gonna lie, Dark Yeet's, uh, middle setup looks pretty, pretty good, but... Yeah, I think given everybody's setup, uh, rather than going through each placement one by one, I think what I'm seeing is, I guess, Yeet is going to try to take Road down the line. Um, I could honestly see so much wood trying to beat Yeet to the 4 5 because of how much brick they have, but that block is massive because it just cuts off all the wood supply from the table, which is huge. Um, I mean, Rudix is just buying devs and building cities, same old, same old. But Trissy, Trissy is in an interesting place because, I mean, okay, sixes keep rolling, they're doing really well, but like getting on the six two will be very important for them to, so they can get their sheep port shenanigans taken care of. But like, is, I guess Trissy's plan is to sheep port then four nine two, I guess. That way they have double or, then they have a, a Orby cheap setup that unfortunately is like kind of just as good as Rudix's. I mean, it's a bit better because they have better sheep, but the sheep's also their port fuel, so it's harder to say. I I, I think Trissy is going to... I mean, Trissy's buying devs, so I guess who am I to talk, but I think Trissy's going to need a little help from Sixes to, uh, to help their game out a bit. Meanwhile, yeah, I mean, Rudix is already buying. Trissy's still buying. I, whoever... It's going to be really interesting seeing who takes Road on this board because it's not clear at all to me who takes it. Like, uh, I think on the surface, if you look at Dark Yeet's position, I think they're probably the most likely to take Road down the line just because their road network is really nice. But, like, you never know. I mean, Rudix has some side-by-side -side stuff going on. I think Red, despite having easily the best road production, is also way out of... They, they can't connect at all, and they're super limited because they're super on the coast. So, like, where are they going to expand to if not if they if they don't get the 4-5-11? If Red doesn't get the 4-5-11, I feel like I don't know where their... What their road network looks like. I guess they just, like, wrap around the coast or something, but... Hard to say. Um, meanwhile, Trissy... I mean, yeah, Trissy and Rudix are fighting for devs, and then Yeet and... Uh, so much wood, I guess they're fighting for road, but I, it, it feels, the road race feels pretty even, as does the, uh, at, be, yeah, as does the dev card race. This should be very, this should, I, I feel like this game's gonna be pretty balanced. But we'll see. We will see. Um, wow. Nice fives and nines. How close... Yeah, Rudix just has a lot of ore in hand and no wheat to do anything with. Or to, yeah, no wheat to do anything with it. I wouldn't be surprised if they even discarded a couple, but... Yeah. That and sheep, which is crazy, considering how dice-dependent their sheep is. But I guess they had extra, so they could afford it. Big block. Yeah, that's a... That's a great block by, uh, great block by Yeet. 
that just totally messes <laughs> that just totally stalls purple and threads game yeah let's see Yeah, okay, Tracy gets to settle down, which is great. Great for them. They need that sheet port, so totally fair. Um, wait, did something happen? What? Sorry, something happened on my screen, and I was trying to figure out what happened, but we're fine. Um, a lot of sevens going on here. A lot of sevens just kind of bouncing back and forth between the two good weed spots. Which I don't blame them for, but that's uh, so it goes. Um, Trissy with army is kind of wild. Because now they can just save up for cities, I guess. Yeah, I mean, sixes are just busted for them. Because a six, a six gets them halfway to a city each time. Yeah, they have the, they have the wheat and the free card. Oh, okay. Yeah, neat, nice road builder. And the settle, understandable. So yeah, now Yeet's definitely now that Yeet got to the 4511, they're definitely the They they definitely have the road advantage here. It was I think it was I think the 4511 was crucial for both red and and uh, black. Hmm. Yeah, now Yeet's just got it. Now Yeet's just got road craziness and oh, Trissy's not saving up. Or, or they might have a stuck hand, so they might be buying a dev for or not stuck, but they might. I think they had six cards in hand, so they kind of had to buy a dev there, which is fine. I mean, yeah, e basically every dev is helpful for Trissy here. There's no bad dev for them. A road builder means you can extend to the four nine two and uh, prevent Yeet from getting there. Yop is fine. You can get a nice uh, city with the next time a six rolls. VP is a VP. A knight is okay. I mean, a, a knight is always good because then you're never blocked. But like, I feel like it's like a knight is slightly less beneficial for them now, especially depending on what uh, down dev they have. But ooh, big four. Yep. Let's see. I mean, Yeet is Yeet is doing stuff. Yeet's got four settles down. They're pretty much ready to connect. I wouldn't be surprised if, at this point, they just sit here and wait to city up the. Oh, what do you even city up here if you're Yeet? Do you do the six five ten? I guess for production. I could I could maybe see the four five eleven, but ugh, it's just ugly. I mean, honestly, the nine three eleven. I think. I would even prefer over the 4511. Yeah. Yep. Understandable. Rare brick. Best ore. A little bit of wheat. They already produced plenty of wheat, so that doesn't really matter. I don't know. It's an in interesting call between the 6510 and the 9311, which, uh,. Between the 6510 and the 9311, I'm not sure which one makes more sense. Um, wow. Rudik's doing their best to buy devs, because that's all they can do. Meanwhile, Wood... I guess if you're Wood, what? Do you... I honestly don't know what you do if you're Wood here. I guess the 611 is an option to try to, like break off the road network but i mean city is also you know if you have it take it but i just don't know what wood is going to do here i uh, to not build to win maybe they'll make a road network around here because they have more open space hard to say hard to say hey there if you're enjoying the video please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons it helps out the channel a ton anyway back to the match Ooh, that's a really nice 11 for Yeet. 
Yep. Let's see. Wood looks in trouble. <laughs> yeah, Wood is definitely sad on this board. And I think Yeet is definitely taking advantage of that here. I think Yeet's definitely taking advantage of the kind of quasi-Wood monopoly that they've developed. Ooh, I think Yeet has a... I mean, Yeet certainly has a city in hand. I think you'd do it, to be honest. Depending on what your devs are. Like, super depending on what your devs are. That knight's great. Wait, really? If you're Yi, I'm really surprised by this block. I'm... I'm a bit surprised that... Or I guess, okay. I can, I can kind of see it. This is a tough... It's a tough call, I think. Because you can't block both Trissy and Rudix. And I think both Trissy and Rudix are scary on this board. Um, I think both of them are... I... I don't know. I... On one hand, like, I get it that Trissy has two down devs that it might be good to test, but on the other hand, I kind of feel like... I, I feel like he valued those two cities, that production, like crazy. So, I, I... It's hard to say. I don't know, man. Like, like I hear you, but the fact that Trissy doesn't have cities is just killer for them right now. They're just super duper struggling. I mean, not struggling, but they're... I think getting cities at this stage in the game is going to be really tough for them. And see, uh, Rudix road builds and is at 7. Like, Ru Rudix is just in... And has an open settle spot. Like, I, I just think as soon as Trissy puts a city down, everyone's just going to, like, solo block them like crazy. Nice, yep, huge plow by, by so much wood. That, they needed that. That was just essential for their game. And so now that they have this plow, they'll just back, uh, they'll just go back the other way and, uh, settle on the 411, I guess, or city, whichever comes first. I, I kind of like Rudix's position here a bit better than Trissy's. Wow. Okay. Yeet. But with that said though, with those couple of eights, wood is really popping off. Also, I was wrong. You, uh, road settle here. You road settle on the three brick because that's cheaper, but... You run settle on the three brick, then hope for a city. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <coughs> I think Rudix might have only wheat in his hand. Which is pretty funny. But. Anyway, yeah. I mean, yeah, nobody else is anywhere close to taking city, to taking road here, so. And plus, uh, one of the road builders has already been bought, so I think if you're so much wood, you can be happy, yeah, just placing on there and just giving, maximizing your outs. Whew. Whew. What will Yeet do with that? Oh, they'll seven out. That's what they'll do with that. But, excuse me. Yeah. And plus, Armand, something to keep in mind is that, like, Rudix doesn't have army. Like, don't get me wrong, I, I don't think, uh, I think Trissy probably beats, probably wins the army race long term, but like, if Rudix keeps buying devs, like, I mean, okay, uh, I, you have to city, but, yeah, I think, I think Rudix is popping here, just popping, popping, popping off, yeah, granted, they had a mono, which helped, but, <laughs> it, whew, nice five sheep in one roll. Nice two wheat to go with it. <laughs> nice seven to get rid of all of the stuff that you just got. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just think this is just so... It's just so hard. Well, okay. Admittedly, red is scary. But on the other hand, they need a city to win. Which I think is just so hard if the, if the eight brick is blocked. Wow, that's, a, that's really fortunate for red. If the 8 brick is blocked, it's just really difficult. Unless 3s roll. Um. Also, something to keep in mind, like... Rudix is not that far away from road here. They just need 3 roads. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 to take road. They're not that far out. I mean, they're gonna keep buying devs inevitably, but... I, I, I just think that, I, I, 
I think Rudix is quickly becoming much more scary than anything else. Unless Yeet takes Road or something. Which would just be ridiculous. Wait, I don't... Huh? I'm not sure I understand these roads by by Yeet. I'm not... Like, I get it that, you're, that they're aiming... That they're going for Road, for sure. But... Declaring your intentions like that when you don't have it is really tough. Like, why not just hold it and let everybody be scared of red for a bit? That's interesting. Yep, Rudix is about to take army and win next turn. I think Rudix just has the win next turn. So, unless someone's able to do it right now, it's kind of over. Yeah, Trissy just kind of st uh, stagnated when sixes and nines stopped rolling. They just kind of fell apart. Just sat, but... So it goes. We'll see. I think this is a two-horse race right now. It's a two-horse race. And yeah, yeah, Wood's gonna pull, of course. And then... Oh, ho, ho, that's so bad. That's such a bad seven for, for Yeet. This is just gonna be a matter of... Uh, does Yeet have the road in hand? Does Yeet have the road in hand? Otherwise, I think Rudix kind of has it here. Yep. Yep. GG. GG to Dark Yeet. With Rudix on 9. <laughs> Presumably with the... How many knights were out? Dev card stats 13, huh? Uh, 4, 8, 9, 10... So there were three knights. Uh, but there were three knights between Rudix's one non-VP. Okay, yeah. So tri yeah, Rudix had a knight. Rudix had a knight. So it was it. That so Rudix would have Rudix would have had it if uh, if Darky did not win on that turn. So very nice. Congratulations to Darky for winning the tournament. Much congratulations. Very awesome. Much wow. Yeah. Good for them. Nice nice and quick. Very quick game.